Hey folks, an investor just like you sent me this triplex in Cleveland Heights, wants my take on it. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to episode 348 of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show where I work with you one-on-one, -on -one, guys. You send me properties that you like and you're interested in, or I will find properties for you. If you want to do that, want to work with me and my team, send an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll call you, walk you through the stuff to get you started. But a guy who's already gone through that process is my man, Tim. Tim, I've been working for you all day, brother. I uh, did three videos for you today. This is the third video. First one was a property I liked. I thought that fit uh, your wants, your needs, your goals based upon how you laid them out to me, right? And then you had sent me two more properties to analyze. The uh, second one was the one in East Cleveland. I just did that for you. Uh, gave you my take on that one. And this is the, the second property you had sent to me, right? So we got a nice productive day for you, right? Two that you sent to me, one that I sent to you, okay? Now, this is a triplex in Cleveland Heights. Now, the sellers are boasting this as a point-of-sale compliant triplex, which is great. Uh, it is going to be point-of-sale compliant, which I love. By the way, anybody watching this, if you don't know what the point-of-sale is, pause the video in the show notes below. I got a video that explains the point-of-sale process. If you guys are going to invest in the Cleveland market, you need to familiarize yourself with the point-of-sale process. The city of Cleveland itself, believe it or not, doesn't have one, but a lot of the surrounding suburbs do, and this one's in Cleveland Heights, so it does, okay? Going forward, I'm assuming you all know what I'm talking about. So we do have a clear point-of-sale report, but that does not mean that we're not going to have to deal with any renovations, right? You see we got furniture uh, in these units, okay? They look good now. This unit looks nice now, but look, there's a picture on the wall. There's a picture on the wall. You got furniture shoved up against the walls. I guarantee you when this unit gets totally emptied out, okay, there's going to be scuffs, nicks, scratches, this or that, right? More stuff on the walls. So you got these you know, plastic blinds, we got to remove these, right? We don't provide these to tenants, right? Because they just break. They're cheapy little $10 things. You provide them to the tenant, the tenant breaks it within five minutes. They're calling you, asking you to replace it. It don't make no sense. So we don't give them no window treatments, things of that nature, right? So I can assure you that there's going to be a little bit of renovation uh, that needs to happen to these two units here. This is actually a three-unit property, okay? Three-unit property. Let me give you the rent roll. Now, 850 and 850 is what the three-bed, one-bath units are going to rent for, right? Those are the ones we're currently been looking at the photos, but those are going to be vacant. They're already vacant. They took the pictures before the folks moved out, but they have moved out now. They're totally vacant, right? So that's market rent, but we're going to have to do a rent-ready renovation on them. And then we do have one existing tenant, right? That's the person in the third floor, which is the 575 unit. So when it's all said and done, twenty two seventy five a month is what's coming in, right? Twenty seven thousand three hundred for the year. But back to the photos, we got to do some work to get there, right? We're gonna have to probably repaint both of these units, and then we're gonna have to do those kitchens, right? Because those kitchens, man, they're dated, okay? Like this stuff looks fine from like five six feet away, right? When this listing agent take this took this picture, like it looks decent, but I guarantee you, when you get up close, like you know, from couches being slammed against the walls, there, there's gonna need to be uh, some turnover stuff, and then the big money of the renovation is gonna be spent in these kitchens, dude. Like they're just not cutting it, right? Like this kitchen is, you know, we're not gonna get a nice high quality eight hundred fifty dollar a month tenant into this kitchen like look at this backsplash this crummy old wood countertop there's some little stickers that somebody's grandma put up you got an old crummy white dishwasher which by the way i recommend removing dishwashers from rental properties guys it does not net out to a profit for you the landlord right the tenants they tear them up and uh it's, it's always just constant issues right like these little curvy guys on the wood i don't even know what the hell you're gonna call that but like it's a no-gooder, okay? It's a no-gooder. So, 
We're going to need to do a little bit of work, even though we're POS clear. It's not a fully turnkey property, okay? So, 12, 937 Cedar Road, Cleveland. It says Cleveland, Ohio, 44118, but that's just a typo on the MLS. It's Cleveland Heights, Ohio, okay? Uh, the listing agent is also aware it's Cleveland Heights. They've already ordered the POS, and the POS is clear, okay? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. But there's a reason this sucker ain't selling because I think it's priced too high, right? Uh, it's just listed 13 days ago, but previous to that 13 days, it was on the market for 261 days. Other people are passing on this property, right? Because I think it's it's a little too expensive. They've listed it at 169,000. In my opinion, I think it's worth 150,000. I think some seller will pay 150,000. I'm not sure if that's going to be you, Tim, but I believe somebody will pay 150. I think that's about what it's worth. And when I went through those photos, you know, highlighting all that stuff, we're going to need to do some cosmetic stuff and then we're going to need to give some love to them kitchens i think we're going to be spending approximately twenty thousand dollars to get this thing up to snuff to bring in that rent right so that's 170 g's that's the investment you'd need to make tim now of the 27.3 that comes in for the year you're going to be spending sixteen thousand eight hundred on average leaving you with an noi of ten thousand five hundred for the year that's an average anticipated return okay i can't say you're going to make that every year but that is going to be what you would expect a property like this to perform as right so if you're all in for 170 g's that makes it a 6.2 cap if you finance it the bank will give you 112 and a half you put down 37 and a half and then after you subtract out your mortgage payments, you take your actual net cash flow after paying down the mortgage. That's the money you're taking home to the bank, right? That's the money that you're buying other properties with, buying pizza with, taking your wife out to dinner, that kind of thing, right? It's 48.12. And you divide that by the money you're into the deal, right? Not just the down payment, folks. It's going to be the down payment. But don't forget, we got to spend $20,000 to get rid of Granny's Kitchen in there to actually get that rent, right? So you got to divide the 48.12 by 57 and a half, which puts you at an 8.4% average anticipated cash on cash return. Now, it's Cleveland Heights. It's a nice neighborhood. That'd be a very nice property. 8.4% would be a very reasonable return for this property. That would be how the deal would go. Is there anything wrong with the deal? No, I think that'd be a fine deal. However, Tim, you found this property, you sent me this property, and you sent me your criteria, and you told me you're aiming uh, for properties that have a cash on cash return of at least 20%, right? So I'm guessing when you did your numbers, uh, there, there's some costs in there that you didn't calculate, which is great. That's what I'm here for, guys. That's what you want. You're hiring me to make sure you guys understand the full, complete, transparent picture of owning these properties. So I love when you guys run the numbers on a property and then you send it to me to run the numbers and then when I run the numbers... I make the property look like it's more of a dud than what you thought. You thought it was going to make you more money, and I get to tell you, nope, it's actually going to make you less. That's why the relationship with Holton Wise uh, works for so many investors around the world, okay? You got all these turnkey providers out there. They're trying to fluff everything. They're trying to make everything seem better than it is so they can sell your property, sell your property, sell your properties. You guys come here. You watch my show. You watch Holton Wise TV. You think the property's this good, and I'm like, nope, sorry, dog. It's only this good, right? Where else can you get transparency like that, right? So I'm always happy when I get to shoot holes in you guys' plans. Uh, with all that said, though, Tim, I think it's a pretty solid deal, but it doesn't hit your goals that you laid out to me. So you let me know what you want to do, brother. Reply to the private email below, or the, pri the private email that I sent you, rather. Reply to the private, e private email that I sent you with this video, and let me know what you want to do. Uh, everybody else, if you're watching this video, what you can do is click the show notes below. That's what I was trying to say. Click the show notes below. 
and click on the links, you could go ahead and set yourself up, get more information to work with me in the same way Tim did. Or if you want to make it even easier, you could just send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and give us your phone number. We'll call you, walk you th through the whole process, right? Because if you're anybody but Tim and you're watching this on Holtonwise TV, this is probably two, three months after I sent this to Tim privately. I don't publish these publicly on Holtonwise TV till after the dust settles, right? So this is after Tim watched the video and told me, hey, James, yeah, I want to pursue the deal. Or, hey, you know what, James? I'm glad you broke down that analysis for me. I thought I was going to make over 20% ROI, but I'm glad you showed me some of the costs I wasn't anticipating. I'm going to move on to another property, right? That's what I'm here for, guys. That's what I do. That's why you're going to want to contact my team. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.